DTE has taken a lot of heat lately, and now the city of Ann Arbor is considering cutting off its supply of natural gas to homes and businesses. The move has nothing to do with the recent outages or proposed rate hike. However, it's part of the city's carbon neutrality plan, which aims to transition away from fossil fuels by 2030. Not everyone supports the switch with just three years left on the city's contract with the energy provider. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig going in depth on where Ann Arbor residents stand on the controversial divide. So we're standing, we're standing with uh, the two deep fryers, right? Gas. Perry Perico's owns some of the most popular restaurants in Ann Arbor, including the Brown Jug and the Blue Leprechaun. He also owns Valiant Bar and Grill in Chelsea. We do different specials. That's uh, obviously gas. And he cannot imagine having to switch from natural gas to electric in his Ann Arbor restaurants. To me, and I listen to the all the people, uh, gentlemen, uh, entrepreneurs, restaurateurs, even the taste of the cooking is not the same. We are a model for communities across the country and the work that we're trying to do to become carbon neutral by 2030. Ann Arbor City Council member Jen Iyer is talking about the city's A20 plan and council just passed a resolution to begin transitioning to clean renewable energy for heat as their natural gas contract with DTE is set to expire in 2027. Fossil fuels and especially burning fossil fuels in our homes and in our businesses leads to cancer, lung disease, childhood asthma. That is very much an ongoing debate um, and is not universally believed by everyone out there. DTE's Director of Gas Sales and Marketing, H.J. Decker, also happens to be a resident of Ann Arbor. Transitioning away from natural gas uh, too quickly, um, you know, has uh, some downside risk to it. Namely, uh, that, that uh, particularly for heating, increases the uh, need for electricity much faster than uh, the, the grid could potentially bear. We don't have enough ovens or, or equipment or pizza ovens or whatever you know, equipment you use gas uh, to change the electrical. We don't have that and that's going to be a high cost for everybody. Ann Arbor residents are demanding, they are demanding energy that is safe, that is reliable, affordable and sustainable. Pulmonary and critical care Dr. Alex Rabin studies the effects of air pollution and climate change on health. The burning of, of gas um, and wood inside the home environment, inside the workplace, uh, leads to increased rates of, of lung disease. Um, and specifically among children, where the evidence is the strongest. Councilmember Iyer says they will be getting input from the public, and even though the contract with DTE does not end until 2027, she says there's a lot to do between now and then. This is going to be a long transition, and it's going to be a careful transition. We are not going to leave people out in the cold <laughs> with this. And, you know, we understand that, you know, right now, for example, people have gas generators that they rely on because DTE's electric grid is so unreliable. What I believe eventually down the road, little by little, give you an option. Maybe the new places open up, which I can understand, but it cannot be overnight or even in a few years. It's impossible. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.